What's good guys and welcome back to the channel and a very very exciting trailer reaction because today we are going to be taking our first look at the official teaser for Captain America A Brave New World. Now this film is set to drop in February, I think it's February 24th or fe no February 14th 2025 so it's dropping on Valentine's Day of next year and it does feel a little early to be getting any sort of trailers for this film but you know what so today we're going to take a look at this teaser trailer i have not watched it obviously it's about a minute and 48 seconds or so so pretty decent size for uh, what is considered to be a teaser trailer so i'm excited to see any information any footage that will give us some context we know that anthony mackie's in it we know uh, it's got harrison Ford. we know john carlo esposito was recently cast in it and is supposed to be playing a villain will we see him in this trailer god i hope so guys if you enjoy these kind of videos you love trailer reactions and we'll do a full like my first impressions at the end be sure to drop a like on this video subscribe all that good youtube stuff and without further ado let's check out the first official trailer for captain america a brave new world it's about that time wilson thanks for coming in well thank you for the invite sir i have to admit i'm still getting used to the new look they said to lose the mustache or lose the election. Are we all? <laughs> you and I <laughs> haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation. We've seen this before. Work with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. This should go well. This February. Sir, your inner circle has been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't want to. What if it's a trap? Global. Oh, that suit. You're just a pawn. Giancarlo? You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. He's like, you're goddamn right, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, ho, 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 that's hard. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, Red Hulk. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Listen, I feel like we talk a lot of trash about Marvel and whether they're ever going to be able to reach the same mountain peak that they once were with characters like Iron Man and Steve Rogers. And while I will say that what they're currently doing now is certainly different and, you know, it's it's a unique perspective, something we haven't seen them do with some of the characters and shows that they presented us with. But man, let me tell you, nothing hypes me more than a Captain America film. And if they were to ever bring Iron Man back, even if it was a different Iron Man or someone who picked up the suit, maybe it was his kid or something like that, I would still, I would still be like pretty hyped about it. I, I just, I don't know this, this uh, damn dude, I love a good trailer guys. I really do. And this was a good trailer. It was a teaser of course. So we didn't get a lot in terms of the plot, but it gave us just enough to say, Hey, this is what you have to look forward to. Now, in terms of the official trailer, we probably won't see that. I would say it's July now at the time of seeing this one. I would say probably we could expect to see a full trailer sometime closer towards the end of the year. You know, maybe sometime in the fall, we'll see a full trailer. I would assume for sure sometime in September, October, we might get a full length trailer. I don't know in terms of like big events, what might be happening over the next couple months. I know we have a uh, Comic-Con that will happen. I don't expect to see a full trailer in the next two weeks i think comic cons in like a next week or two um so i definitely don't expect to see a full trailer then however i do expect like a full trailer sometime in the fall now let's get into this trailer so off the jump we start off seeing sam wilson the new captain america heading into the office of harrison ford's character and what i love here is how you know marvel is still able to kind of poke fun at themselves a little bit we know that this is uh, i believe this is technically a new actor harrison ford is playing the same character that we've seen 
uh, but but a new actor. And so I love the comment that he makes is I'm still getting used to the new look. And he's like, oh, it's either shave the mustache or or like get another job or something like that. And I'm like, well, wow. that's and and it's it's fun when jokes can play on two different realms. And I love the writing of this particular joke is them pointing fun at the fact that he looks different uh, from kind of almost breaking the fourth wall in the sense. But then also at the same time, like, you know, he does look different. He doesn't have a mustache so that there is some obvious, you know, context with it. But I think if, you know, for those who have watched the last Marvel movies, you kind of understand the deeper context to that joke. So uh, it, it's it's one that's subtle. It's not obvious. But if you know, you know, then we get uh, we get Ross's uh, election. We get a, a view of, you know, him running for reelection and really trying to put Captain America at the forefront of that re-election this idea of bringing captain america's official military position um is something that you and i already know uh is not going to go well <laughs> it's not going to go well and and when he presents this idea to sam wilson to captain america and says yeah i want to bring this in i want this to be official position uh in the u.s military basically something that they control you know it's like you work for the military uh which again will not go well uh, he's like, oh, what What if we disagree on how to solve an issue, uh, which is a very interesting question, because that's exactly the debate that was had years ago when they decided to decide whether or not to sign the Ecov Sokovia Accords. And so, yeah, it was it's basically, you know, obviously it's them trying to hold these superpowers in, you know, they're trying to hold them accountable. But at the same time that is it never goes as well as you think it will and so we can kind of already get a sense of that can already see that happening um moving on from there obviously tragedy strikes uh i'm not exactly sure who this character is she seems important um she seems like someone with a master plan someone who knows things and so that's all I get from it. Let me know in the comments if this is a character you recognize, though. I don't. Listen, I have short term memory. Um, and so, yeah, if this is a character that we've seen before, I, I, I honestly can tell you. I couldn't tell you. But anyway, moving on from there, we get our first official look at Giancarlo Esposito, the man, the myth, the absolute goat himself looking as badass as ever. And what I love about this is we just got this confirmation that he was going to be in this film. Golly, like a couple weeks ago. Um, man, maybe, maybe like uh, no more than like two months ago, we got this, this confirmation that he was going to be in this film and boy, does he look badass? Giancarlo Esposito gets around, he gets work. And, um, I love that. I love that for him because he's a, he's a phenomenal actor, phenomenal actor plays an, in, plays an incredible villain. And so we've seen him obviously as Gus Fring. We've seen him in the Mandalorian. He's been in a number of other projects since then. I've really tried my best to follow his work, um, over the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, he, he continues to, to surprise and delight. And so moving on from there, guys, we see some rockets. We see uh, we see an alliance that we know is not going to work out. I'm, I'm telling you guys, this is not going to work out. Um, something's going to happen. They're going to they're going to disagree on how to solve the situation, how to handle it. And um, and yeah, it's all going to be chaos from there. So it should be interesting. It should be interesting. Then we get some classic explosions because we love those potentially signifying i don't know some big bad it looks like there's a uh there's a, a look of a, a suit in the background um yeah it's kind of hard to tell honestly it's it's somewhat hard to tell but can obviously see that let's see big map of the world obviously someone they're sitting right how do y'all not know this <laughs> that's what i want to know look at them sitting right next to homie and nobody notices homie homie rises up and no one's gonna stop him please explain this to me sam wilson you're captain america you should you should know that any sort of public meeting is gonna be the opportunity for something to pop off so yeah uh this was surprising to me homie just stands up like it's nothing and then starts wrecking house insanity insanity but obviously he's a super soldier maybe has a super serum in him i don't know everybody seems to have super serum in him so it's, it's really no surprise uh, and then we get our first glimpse of the attacker, which is pretty cool. I thought this was Giancarlo Esposito's character at first um, until he until he we get that frame where he uh, pulls the gun out. And uh, yeah, then we see everybody fighting, people running away, him obviously getting away because um, every villain, every bad guy 
always seems to get away. It's like they, they didn't, it's almost like they didn't think about these things potentially happening, um, cover all the exits and all that stuff. But I guess, you know, he made his own exit. So fair is fair. Homie, you know, homie deserved to get away, I guess. Um, we get a look at the White House. seems like a lot of this film, uh, or at least, you know, a lot of the, the political nature of the film obviously will take place in DC and, you know, Captain America, obviously trying to play, I think potentially both sides really trying to appease Ross probably in the beginning and think that this is potentially the best way. But I feel like at the end, towards the end of the film, he's inevitably going to go off and, and, and do his own thing. We also get our first look at the suit, which looks absolutely badass we've seen images of this already um but this is yeah our first official first official glimpse at the suit him doing which i think is really cool uh his classic uh two-person kickflip i don't know what you want to call it that's what i'm going to call it for now uh yeah he unleashes his two-person kickflip which is the iconic falcon move so i what i love about this character is that he's obviously incorporating elements from his you know past persona which is the falcon and what he will likely have with the shield and and stuff that he's seen so you're, you're gonna get a, a glimpse a fusion uh, of two different characters and i think that that's really cool that he's picked up the mantle from falcon to captain america and still kind of has both he still has the wings and stuff like that um which i think is going to play really well it's, i think it's going to be really interesting to see um how he becomes a new captain america uh, we also see Giancarlo Esposito's character lurking in the shadows. We see him get the shield, potentially get the shield for the first time, which is probably going to be a very uh, iconic moment. We see somebody unfortunately passing away because death is inevitable in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We also see him, uh, everybody, you know, a, a cool action fight sequence. This will likely, I feel like this will likely be when they turn on him, as you would expect, as I would expect the military will turn on sam wilson of course and he will have to fight his way out and still find a way to save the day the man is going to be multitasking and that is going to be uh really interesting to watch so yeah he's going to fight off some soldiers now granted that th this could not this might not be the military as well he could be sneaking into a facility that has guards um you know that aren't military you know so it's very possible that he could just be you know fighting off um some baddies from the villain but uh there's just something about this there's something in my mind that leads me to believe that they're just going to turn on him so that's what i'm fully expecting that's my theory let me know in the comment section what your theory might be this is a sexy shot right here this is it this is what we want to see this is what we want to see i don't want to see john carlo esposito's character go out like a punk i want to see him burn this place down I've, i don't think I'll, I'll ever root for a villain more than I will for Giancarlo Esposito's character. That's 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 how that's how die hard I am for for this man. And any character that he plays, I'm like, yo, mess him up, <laughs> mess him up, do your thing, Giancarlo. Uh, but yeah, I hope that the, his character is as badass as this shot is, because uh, man, this is money. That is money. I need a poster of that. Um, we see. Uh, I almost thought this was. Um, I can't remember her name. But I thought this was another character that we we saw recently um then we see a big fight we see him fighting with the suit we obviously see some destruction cherry blossoms because again a lot of this film is going to take place probably majority of the film will take place in dc obviously this is the destruction of red hulk that we see at the very end of the trailer so we get our first look at that we see him pick up the shield he's likely going to have to take on red hulk which again many people already assumed was going to be the thing um but it's interesting interesting to see how that's Kind of playing a role you see a little bit of red there i almost thought that that was red hulk peering through but yeah we see him with the wings which just looks sick look at these sexy looking wings come on y'all come on y'all you can't hate on this captain america this is just this is the best of both worlds imagine if any of our other characters picked up the mantle from a character like like imagine iron man became thor it was like yeah i'm gonna become the new god of thunder or something and he had the same iron man tech but he also had a hammer or something like that that would be insane it would be insane so you know seeing our favorite characters fuse together or pick up different roles i mean it's something that i think you don't think could work but it does it does and i think that this film is going to be proof that it that it works i'm super excited to see um how this whole thing plays out but obviously we see captain america zooming away he's got his shields i don't know if these uh when he when he crashes through this plane i don't know if his wings are made of uh you know some you know vibranium or something like that i don't know if he got new 
wings. I mean, it's possible they could be made out of vibranium, which is how they could cut right through this jet, um, which is insane. Um, and then, so, yeah, yeah. So we see him, we see him fly through. I almost thought this was two characters. I thought he was chasing someone just because it's, it's so blurry, right? And it almost does look like he is chasing someone, right? Um, crashes through those and then... And that might not have, and now that I think about it, that might not have been him. That could be this other character that he is chasing, um, who honestly, I have no idea. Let me know in the comments if you guys know. Listen, I, I don't pretend to be some Marvel savant, okay? I'm somebody that likes a good trailer. I like good action. I like a good story. And that's that's it for me. I don't, you know, I don't need, you know, I, I don't need to get into all the lore of, of all of these characters. Um, you know, I, I know what I know. And what I don't is a good learning experience. That's how I see it. So yeah, and then um, and then obviously we'll get to the the biggest shot, the best shot, the shot that will probably have the internet going crazy over the next twenty four hours, uh, is obviously our first look at Red Hulk as he completely slams the shield down like it's nothing. And that's the trailer, guys. That's the trailer. That's our full. I didn't expect to do a full trailer breakdown in this video, um, but that's really just what it came down to. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully you guys are as well. Let me know if there's something in the comments that I missed on this video. If there's something that stood out to you that you really want me to pay attention to uh, or something that you just want to point out, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you love trailer breakdowns, trailer reactions, all that good stuff, you're already in the right place. All you got to do is drop a like on this video as it greatly helps out and supports the channel. Subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. You already know what it is, but I appreciate you guys Appreciate your support on this video. I'm super excited for this film. I know it's just a teaser trailer. We'll get a lot more, I'm sure, about the plot, the actual plot in the actual first official trailer. Um, but for a teaser trailer, for it to be almost damn near two minutes, feels like a trailer to me. I don't know. I don't know how they title, how they decide uh, and categorize these things. But this feels like our first official trailer. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get working on this video. If you guys enjoy, like I said, drop a like, subscribe. We got so many more trailers coming up soon with Comic-Con coming up. There should be new trailers. Marvel may drop uh, maybe some surprise trailers. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next trailer.